If you want to write awesome marketing content with ChatGPT, this video is for you. I'm going to show you how to use some of my favorite ChatGPT prompts to create marketing content like social media posts, video scripts, image captions, and anything else you might need to write in the course of promoting your brand online. My name's Alex. I'm a digital marketer and copywriter with Lover Fighter Writer. And if you would be so kind as to like the video and subscribe, I promise you that watching this is going to be worth your time today. Right now we're looking at my ever-growing, ever-improving list of ChatGPT prompts. If you'd like access to this Google Sheet so that you can download it, copy it, bookmark it so that you get all the updates, there's a link in the description where you can visit a landing page and sign up for access. You'll also be joining my email list, and of course you can unsubscribe at any time, but I will keep you updated on all kinds of cutting-edge tools and tactics in the world of digital marketing and copywriting. A really common problem that we see people talk about online is that when they're using ChatGPT or other AI writing software, they tend to get stuff that's really generic. It seems like it could have been written for any business, and it can be really frustrating, and sometimes people give up on the software. And the number one thing that you need to do in order to fix this issue is to start each ChatGPT conversation in which you plan on writing content or writing copy with a command that tells ChatGPT exactly how you want it to write everything that you're going to ask it to write. And there are a bunch of prompts on the list already that you can use for content marketing. We're going to go through a few of them in just a minute. But first, we're going to create a new, but first, we're going to use my two existing tone setting prompts, which are my copywriting voice and tone prompt right here, and my NLP friendly SEO prompt right here. So these are the first prompt that I would send when I was writing SEO content for this one or if I'm writing conversion optimized copy with this one. And content marketing is a little bit different from both of these things, although technically SEO would be part of your content marketing. But for the purpose of this video, we'll be thinking of content marketing more in terms of visual content and video content, the type of stuff that you would do well with on social media. And so I'm gonna take this copywriting voice and tone prompt and this NLP friendly SEO prompt and put them in a document and I'm going to alter them and merge them together in order to create a content marketing chat GBT prompt. And remember, if you haven't already, you can get access to all of my current and future chat GBT prompts just by signing up for my email list on the landing page that's linked in the description. What we have here are just the two prompts that I was showing you in the spreadsheet, the copywriting voice and tone prompt and the NLP friendly SEO prompt. So the first thing I'm gonna do is remove anything from the two existing prompts that I think I'm not going to need. And then I'm going to modify and add some things. After reading through it, I actually like almost all of the copywriting prompt for the purposes of content marketing, but I do wanna add some pieces of the SEO prompt to it and change a few things. So I've just opened up the middle of the copywriting prompt and I'm going to take from here down to here. So most of this actually and paste it right in there. But I'm going to change a few things. So instead of saying both search engines and humans, I'm going to say both artificial intelligence and humans. I still like all the writing instructions and the negative instructions about excluding certain types of words. And so I changed this part here to dedicate 60% priority to making the content engaging, authentic, and unique, and dedicate 40% priority to optimizing the content for click-through rate and other conversions. Then we have the common ending, which is right from the perspective of, and here you include either the brand name or the author's name. And then you have a variable here where you can describe them a little bit and add a little bit more information based on what they're known for. And you can remove or change this as you feel as you feel necessary in order to properly tell the AI who it's writing from the perspective of. If you have a short brand voice guide, you could include it here. And then we have the familiar sign off, which is if you understand the above and will use it when implementing all subsequent commands, respond with understood. So this command is looking pretty good. And so I've pasted this into a new conversation with ChatGPT, and now I just need to go through and fill out the variables. And now I've gone through and filled out all the variables, and I'm asking ChatGPT to write from my perspective, and I'm gonna be creating some organic content and possibly some ad copy to direct towards small business owners in my area. So ChatGPT has responded with understood. And now that we've created that content marketing prompt, let's go back to my ChatGPT prompts list and I'll demonstrate a few of the prompts that would work especially well for content marketing. 
And right off the bat, we can have some fun with the first two prompts. So the first one is called needs and wants. I'm just gonna grab that. And now I've customized this with an offer idea that I've been playing around with. And as you can see, the needs and wants prompt very quickly returns a list of reasons that your ideal clients or customers need and want your product. Now, back here in the list, I'll grab the edutainment prompt, and I'm gonna take one of the reasons that customers need the product and one of the reasons that customers want the product, and I'm gonna combine those into the content topic that I'm using with the edutainment prompt. And I took number two from the needs, which was increasing conversion rates, and number one from the wants, which is convenience. And so this prompt has become write a list of entertaining aspects and a list of educational foundations related to increasing conversion rates without a lot of work or technical skills. Now I'm gonna skip down to Instagram captions and grab this prompt. And now I've customized this one. And I actually used the first two entertaining aspects in the messaging that I'm asking for. And so we'll send this one in. And we got a pretty nice caption here. Want a 24 seven sales sidekick that works while you sleep? Say hello to your digital web assistant, the chatbot that captures leads, answers questions, and books appointments without you lifting a finger. Set it and forget it. This AI powered tool keeps your website working hard while you focus on growing your business. Here's the kicker. It's free for three months. After that, it's just $20 a month based on usage. Affordable, smart, essential. Don't let another lead slip through the cracks. Ready to supercharge your conversions? Tap the link in bio and meet your new digital web assistant today. So that's actually pretty solid. I think I would like that for an ad for an organic post. I would want to make it a little bit less salesy and a little bit more uh, informative and helpful, but that is a great start. Leave me a comment and let me know if you found this helpful, as well as if you have any questions or want to request a tutorial for a specific prompt. I really like this prompt, so I'm going to go add it to my ChatGBT marketing prompts spreadsheet. Remember to get access to this by clicking the link in the description. If you're on YouTube, if you're on Facebook, you can just DM me right on my Facebook page and I'll make sure you get where you need to go. Thanks for watching. Remember to share this with anyone you know who would find it helpful and I'll talk to you in the next video.